welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your June 2020, 2022 read. Big Cat Wave nearly said 2020. Maybe you're going to get the 2020 on what's going on. Come in. I've got intel. Let's dive in and unpack. Just the one. You have the energy of a six. Gemini lovers energy. Mm -hmm. You also have the energy of the four. Aries, Mars energy, as well as what? The Empress, Venus and Earth energy, darling dear. This also speaks about a balancing of your masculine and feminine energies. Or a divine union coming in, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of a four, three speaks about what a prosperous union darling dear something divinely guided and union can be on any level a friendship a business partnership possibly even a contract signed mm -hmm. some information is coming towards you as well during the month of june 2022 pisces that is going to be what extremely fortious fortunate beneficial which will create some kind of a, a change, a change of plans, but a fortunate change of plans for you. It's the energy of also Cancer, Chariot Energy, again, another water sign, speaking about progress, as well as success, spiritually guided, and war. Somebody wants war with you, tongue wrestling, hockey sticks at dawn. I absolutely love tonic water. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get your overall ancestral message before we, before we pull a rune. Please excuse the adverts, I keep them in. Because sometimes they come with a message. A massage. Base of the deck. We've got what? Expand your consciousness. Or you've expanded your consciousness. We already saw the energy of the chariot. Cancer energy. Higher vibration. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about the warrior in you. You've been determined about something. It also speaks about um, a trip, possibly a joint trip or a meeting, possibly um, a seminar or traveling for business. This is about you keeping your focus and it's also working towards your long-term goals and expect an invitation during the month of June 2022, Pisces. Your ancestral message is life force energy. Cain or Carney. Cain was the killer of killer of Abel, wasn't it? It was a Skull Douglas brother, eh? What's going on? We just heard a bell. Confirmation for some. Someone's got a Skull Douglas brother. Or someone they saw like a brother. This is page 96 and 9 and a 6. Gemini energy, lover's energy. We've also got the what? The energy of a 9. Hermit energy. Isolating yourself from betrayal as well as dishonesty. This is also calling for self-introspection, examination. It took some time for you to come out of this dark, depressed, unfocused spell. Mm -hmm. Page 94. Why did I say 94 when it's 96? What's going on? Something's not quite adding up around you, possibly from this Skull Douglas brother. It says, hydrate and nourish your body. Good health is returning. Bursting with vitality. Kanye. 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 Okay, Kanye. Right. Comes with a, sim a simple message. Your body would benefit from drinking more fresh water and eating nutrient rich foods. Carne doesn't come to judge or lecture you about your dietary, dietary choices. He invites you to stand beneath his waterfall, soak up his rainbow colors and tune into your body's real needs. 
Your spirit needed a reminder about cultivating true health and life force energy. Carne says, smiling widely. Every drop of water or morsel of food contains living consciousness and vibrational power. Is the way you eat and drink supporting your highest purpose? If your physical or creative energies need boosting, consider your dietary habits. The way to optimum health now is to open your heart. Feed your body with loving awareness rather than with criticism or self-loathing. Celebrate your food. Savor the colors, the taste, the textures. Textures. Give thanks to the creative to the creative source of the universe for sustaining you. Life is joy when you see the scarred energy within everything. You just screenshot and read at your leisure or leisure. Wanting you to take better care of your body because you will reach success. If you've got some kind of a health goal, you will succeed this month, but your ancestral team wants you to take care of your temple. It's the only one you're gonna get on this Malkuf. Ace of the deck. We've got what? Standing your ground. We've got Leah or Liar. Standing your ground against a liar. We already discussed the skull dugger Douglas brother. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, we have two. And one of them attacked me. <laughs> oh, good golly and gosh. When you cast runes, you read them from left to right. But because these fell on me, I'm going to take this one first. This is Pertho. High Priestess Energy, darling dear. Having gone within, it also speaks about what? Secrets and knowledge. Some of you have acquired secret, um, occult knowledge. Could be your birth natal chart, darling dear. It also speaks about what? Knowing your worth. Pertho, represented by the letters P. The numbers 8, 9, 10, and 11. It also speaks about speaks about what? Hidden things. Something's going to be coming to light. It also represents the vagina. Somebody needs to what? Go and get a medical checkup pertaining to their reproductive system, both male or female. Mm -hmm. The High Priestess. It also speaks about your intuition, darling dear, as well as what? Living your truth. It also speaks about balancing of the feminine energy. Again, go for a health check up my female big cat, Pisces, mm -hmm. during the month of June 2022. And it also speaks about something has been hidden from you. Something that was hidden from you, darling dear, is about to be revealed. We've got what? <laughs> Uraz, represented by Taurus, Hierophant Energy. On its face, darling dears, on its face, represented by the letters U and V, the numbers 20, 21, 22, and 10, 23. This also speaks about bad health when in reverse. Go and have a health check, darling dears. It also speaks about what boundaries? Some people's unjust. It also speaks about breaking of a contract, mm -hmm. some kind of covenant or some kind of a bond will be broken during the month of 20, June 2022. It speaks about lust as well as violence. Good God, somebody's going to be having fisticuffs. No boundaries, eh? Don't understand keeping thy hands to thine self, eh? Hmm. The Hierophant on its face also speaks about bad advice. Someone who was meant to be... Um, High, held in high esteem it also speaks about someone moving away from um studies someone's been lying about going to to study they haven't been studying mm. what have they been studying then if they haven't been studying the study this also speaks about lying about training somebody's not trained for a position that they've acquired it also speaks about a divorce somebody's leaving a situation with a social clamor clout chaser Mm -hmm. Somebody who preferred you to be in bad health, darling dear. And bad health could also speak about what? Your negative self-talk. Somebody who poured into that negativity, darling dear. You'll be moving away. Right, let's carry on. See what else is going on.
base of the deck, you've got temperance, darling dear. You are an earth angel. It also speaks about ancestral protection. It also speaks about being more moderate with your finances and your energies during the month of June 2022. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about what a harmonious partnership somebody's going into a harmonious partnership we already saw a divinely guided one feminine and masculine energy a balancing out a yin and a yang this is also the recovery of from some form of addiction possibly to a person or a thing or someone needed to go into some form of um, recovery to get past an addiction this is about not being able to manage on their own needing guidance or it also speaks about an intervention Also here in a letter, you're going to get some news in a letter. What's this? <clears throat> Currently around you at this moment in time, Pisces, as you enter June 2022, you have an 11-11 fade. This is the four of wands. This is about parties. You're going to be going to party celebrations, possibly a marriage, birth of a child. This is happy times where everybody's working towards mutual benefit. So you're going to arm um, June in an uplifted mood. This also is the meeting, the dating, the um, courtship of a new lover, a new friend. Something that you're you're passionate about, and it's a mutual, a mutual give and take. What is the personal theme for Pisces for June 2022? Thank you. Oh. Reaping what you sow, darling dear. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, I might add. Good golly and gosh. This is Taurus as well as Saturn energy. It speaks about what? Um, making ends meet. Somebody's having issues with their foundation, darling dear. It also speaks about paying the, the rent late. Hmm. It also speaks about a penalty. Somebody's going to have to be paying a fine during the month of June 2022. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about um, a relationship. Somebody's going to be entering, entering in the wrong relationship during the month of June 2022. A relationship where there is no yin and yang, where you both don't know each other. It just spun on its face. Did you see it? Some, a domineering partner. Somebody who wants you to what? Be a people pleaser for. Be careful because you will reap what you sow. This is also a, to remind you to pay attention and read the energy. And what? Google them, blood. Google them. Listen, Google is your friend. Lucy Badass told us. Eyes on everyone. Mm-hmm. What will Pisces accomplish during June 2022? It's also the Seven of Pentacles also speaks about impatience. Somebody's impatient about a union or a creative project that they've been working on for some time. Patience is a virtue. Nothing happens before it's time. What will you accomplish? True love's first kiss. This is a new partnership, new friendship. This is also about what? Making right choices, balancing out energies. Some of you will be accomplishing true love, as I said. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a deep attraction and it also speaks again about making good decisions. Having a deep trust. It also again speaks about invitations. You're definitely going to be going. It's the party month for you. My big cat Pisces. Big cat wave. Possibly we will be meeting this new person. At a social gathering. What should Pisces avoid? During June 2022. Hmm. <laughs> Ace of Souls in the reverse. Things are not that are not clear. Like liars, back front neck tabbers, um, negative energies, right? And those that have what? 
was it somebody it also speaks about what somebody's gonna have a mental break and this person is to be avoided it could also speak about a lie darling yeah a lie that's gonna be told ten of pentacle this is about a bad investment this is also telling reminding you to pay attention to the choices that you have during the month of june 2022 not all Not all that glitters is gold, darling. There's some of its fresh shit shining in the sunlight. This is also speaking about um, bad health. You're going to be hearing of a death, darling, dear. My condolences. But there's going to be a lot of fighting over the money, darling, dear. This also speaks about the gathering of money for, for a funeral. Maybe this is the social um, environment that you'll be meeting this new person gathering of funds for a funeral mm. this person who passed they're going to leave a lot of unhealed trauma behind taking a lot of secrets with them to the grave darling dear mm -hmm. what should you avoid those that aren't working with you darling dear those that are not of one accord with you because you're focused on getting to the bag. This is about you taking the time to learn a new skill or to fine tune said skill because it's going to bring you some kind of foundation, great success. This is about you focusing on your own goals, your own dreams and working hard. Avoid those that are going to try and stop you, darling dears, especially those that have mental issues or e the mental issues can be just greed, darling dear. Greed, envy and hate. Avoid those that you no longer invest in, and this is quite a few people, because you want it to become more stable. What obstacle? What obstacle will you face? What obstacles will Pisces face? Thank you we've got the sun card happiness darling dear this is a marriage card it's also a union why would it come up in an obstacle position this is the happiest card in tarot it speaks about what um your vibration being raised it speaks about harmonious relationships it speaks about pregnancy as well somebody's going to be getting after a lot of him but i'm hearing artificial insemination they're going to find out that they're pregnant during the month of June. This could have been what the deaths were, darling dear. The loss of pregnancies leading up to this one, which is going to hold. A child will be born. Mm -hmm. Why is the sun card coming up as an obstacle for Pisces? Oh, three of cups. Those that want to have you in a third party situation. And it also speaks about a feminine energy or female energy female energy these people look at your social media all of the time darling dear they feel disappointed their life is stuck going nowhere and they're watching you win they're watching you work hard turn your butt back come come out of dark situations and as well as come out of financial debt you've been making the right right choices while they've been making the wrong choices you were like talking in the background they're talking about you darling dear wheel of fortune but what happened between you and them? You leave in a situation and focusing on yourself, focusing on your bag, darling, dear. It was a destined move. A destined move. There's a lot of people disappointed that you're able to celebrate yourself, that you're going through a happy season. Mm -hmm. Two threes on the table also always speaks about a third party situation. The best friend that had another best friend and they both don't like you, darling, dear. Or the brother. A skullduggerous brother. I hadn't forgotten about that. Where can you find support? Where can Pisces find support during June? Listen. We've got the devil. What do you mean support from the devil? This is addictions, darling dear. Being bound, controlling behavior. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was holding my breath in. 
Two of Pentacles is well on it. Don't get the support from what the feeble minded. You can't go to a butcher and ask him about diamonds, darling dear. This is about where you get your advice from. Some people will be giving you bad advice, darling dear. Why? Because you're the two of peas. What's that? Able to what? Bend the matrix. This is managing and prioritizing your responsibilities. You came through a difficult situation, but you're coming out winning because that takes focus to right. Uh, what's this? A unicycle, right? While holding on to the bag, darling dear. The bag. Yeah. This is your confidence, darling dear. This is also your in leaning into your confidence. You've accomplished a lot over the past few months and you deserve to be happy and celebrating it. But somebody or someone is not cel celebrating you. Gone to the three to the four of cups again. That is what? A seven, darling dear. They want to argue with you and fight. This is a lot of jealousy being directed at you because you chose you, made the right choice. This is why you're, you've raised your vibration. Again, the energy of the chariot. Raised your vibration and are being gifted with like-minded souls. And it's also be careful of investments because you'll be investing with a liar. Investigate everything. Pardon me, that was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth roof. Pinky's up. does the big cat Pisces need to take to ensure their happiness and success this new beginning or the what the wheel of fortune in your favor darling dear mm -hmm. this is someone who betrayed you darling dear broke your heart or you broke their heart a bad investment a destabilized foundation where there was a lot of lies a lot of a lot of and projection We've now got three threes. Good golly and gosh. On the tableau. Three threes speaks about your stability, darling dear. Someone's got the effrontery to be betrayed because you chose yourself and you're winning. You focused on your bag, your mental health, whatever it means to you, darling dear. Could even be your physical health. Has, has, um, what's his name? Kanye? Kanye? Kanye said? Mm-hmm. This is somebody who betrayed you and a liar, darling, dear, an emotional manipulator, queen of wands. This is somebody who is a Jezebel spirit. This is current energy. All of these eyes are looking at me. Somebody is really upset. This person is a guy, a liar. I nearly said a guy, right? It could be a guy. And it also, I said guy speaks about earth in it. This person's used some kind of magic. And when we think of earth, we think, oh, this person did a graveyard watuzi for you, darling, dears. A spell was cast for you to lose everything, your mind, your home, your job, to be amongst those that you couldn't trust, darling dear. Somebody's wicked. Well, guess what? Clean getaway. What they intended for you, darling dear, it didn't work. You are not confused. This is about what? Going to calmer waters in your mind. You are thinking clearly. And can you see them in the background? Someone you left behind, darling dear. Queen of Wands is someone who takes the time to sit down and plan. They planned your downfall, but that's not what Divine wants you to have. This person betrayed you. There was controlling. There was a liar, a narc for sure, and they had addictions or they were addictive. I told you, Jezebel spirit, face of the deck, chariot energy. What can I say? You're winning, darling dear. And they hate for the fact that you're winning, that you overcame the un, what the insurmountable. And you are blessed and highly favoured and moving forward. Possibly even buying a new car. This also speaks about travel either over land or sea. Travelling for business and possibly even... We also know you're going for a funeral. But it's also someone's travelling for the birth of a, of a child. Or for this artificial insemination. Some kind of a surgery is going to be performed. What's this? Five of Cups. Yes, baby. feeling unemotional fulfilled they didn't get what they wanted whatever they intended to happen to you darling dear they're extremely disappointed disillusioned and a dumbass base of the deck you didn't come back or you're still moving forward pisces energy you and your element darling dear eight of cups you've turned your shapely back law 16 of the 48 laws of power mm -hmm. and you're winning you've changed darling dear you're not the same person look 
Whomsoever you left behind, this Jezebel spirit, they're crying into their fist and possibly have the stanky finger from trying to manifest you back by touching themselves. Good God, Queen of Wands. This person got graveyard dirt, darling, dear, to try and hold you in a situation and it didn't work. It didn't work. Touch not the anointed, eh? Mm -hmm. Let's get some further messages. Then we're out of here for my big cat Pisces. Which one? Which one? Which one? We want to know about the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Listen, look. When I picked up the cards, I picked up my peacock feather. That person had the what the big word on you. Use chaos magic and grave grave dirt to try and further your to to what stop your to stop your progress. And the chariot also speaks about car accidents. Be careful of your cars, darling dears. Have your cars checked. Everything, have a health check on everything. What about this Queen of Wands character? This Jezebel spirit, right? It's about trust. They betrayed your trust, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Divine says what? Don't look back. If it's a brother, a lover, a friend, whatever, whomsoever first came to your mind, continue to what? Stand your ground. Because you're about to what? If I can get it up. Taste sweet success. Because you're hard work. In silence, darling dear. Is that Persophily? A new beginning. Mm-hmm. What's this? I don't deserve you. They're bloody right. They don't deserve you. They deserve a little finger just like them, a full-on tree sloth with their own panani or futum in the air like a gang sign. They don't deserve you. They're right. What's this? All answers come from within God's plan. Touch not the anointed. They formed that weapon, darling dear, but they betrayed your trust. This is why you must never look back. Remember Lot's wife. Salt Bay. Mm -hmm. Clarify the don't look back. Yeah. Because why? The, they, them and arm would like to time travel back into your existence. If they try to come back, tell them that they you simply can't have them where you are because it will interrupt the space and time continuum and say nothing else. Leave it at that. They don't deserve you, they don't deserve your time, they don't deserve your energy. And remember, they did a graveyard watuzi in your name for you to fail, for you to not have that child. And you was never the only one, darling dear. And they got mental health issues. Listen, undiagnosed mates slip through the net. Don't go and meet them anywhere. We've seen the first 48. And we are what, keyboard gangsters? This person wants to get a hold of your psychological password to bring you down, right? And we've got feminine energy on its face. A distorted feminine. Or it is a bitch, Mitch, or a Mitch, bitch, because you know gender is fluid in tarot. Again, my peacock feather fell down. It, doesn't, it hasn't done this before, right? Protect yourself, darling dear. As a spiritual being having a human experience, you have the right to claim dominion over yourself at any time. Fortunately for you, tomorrow is Friday. Have a Venus, a Venus bath Friday, right? Read Psalms 91, Psalms 51, Psalms 121, and double down with Proverbs 31, 10, darling dear. Return to sender. Mm -hmm. Someone who you've dusted off your sandals and headed out from. What's this? It's the fifth house, darling dear. This is Leo energy. Your career, focus on your career. We already saw the three of pentacles. Focus on your long-term structure as well as your goals. And it also speaks about status and reputation. Remember, law number five of the 48 laws of power. Your reputation is everything. You hang with four bottom feeders, guess who's going to be number five? Leo energy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This is also about your childlike experience. Um, your childlike, ex I said experience. So some of you are about to be experience the um, experience parenthood, and that pregnancy will come to fruition, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's your childlike spirit. It also speaks about drama. But when God, listen, when people make plans, God laughs, and God is laughing at this people or person with their mental health issues. Loose on this Malkuth. 
We've also got the second house, darling dear. This is Taurus. This is about what your values. Taurus loves comfort. This is the acquiring of possessions, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about what? Your hard work, your routines. They're about to pay off. And this is also big ticket items which you'll be purchasing during the month of, of um, June 2022, Pisces. This is also Venus energy, the ruling planet. It speaks about romance. We already saw a masculine and a feminine energy. This two and five goes to seven. What's that? The seventh house, Libra energy. Partnerships, marriage, contracts. Mm -hmm. And we also have mask in the reverse, somebody who's coming to you with their true and only face. Yeah, not a mask marauder, right? Listen, return that energy back to the sender. Who did that Watuzi for you, darling dear? Return the energy to sender. This is spiritual warfare and you are big cat and you made the right choices. This is why divine is gifting you with new beginnings for June 2022. On that note... I drops me mic. Todd love to Teesprings. Todd love to my Patreon. Or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. <laughs>